What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna start talk louder because the last video, my mouth, I was so quiet. So yeah, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be um, let me teach you guys how to run in Gorilla Tag. I'm gonna do standalone and Steam VR. So let's get into this video. So I'm not mad right now. I'm trying to speak loud so the mic can hear me. Because for some reason when I'm in Steam VR, the mic is very quiet. So yeah, let's get into this. So step so one when you run, I'm gonna start with Steam players and I'll go with standalone players. So because I'm on I'm on Steam right now. So yeah, let's get started. So, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, I totally was not in the ghost code, guys. It's totally not. Just, yes, I get out of here. Hello. Wait, the window. We are. I am a real ghost. I literally. Here, let's, let's just mute everyone, alright? Alright, I want to talk to them after. Let's go. Guys, I'm making a video. I'm about to mute you guys just for a little bit, okay? I'll talk to you guys in a second. I'm making a video. Alright. Alright, guys. How's this thing? I'm um, gonna showing you guys how to run in Gorilla Tag. So yeah, let's get into this. And if he wants to join too, you can. So, hello. <laughs> so, you wanna do? First, I'm gonna show the uh, different kind of different kinds of um, perspectives. So let's go over here. I suggest going into um, city, cause city is very good because it's nice and flat ground, as you can see. So yeah. So first, we're gonna start off with the first person. First, we're gonna start off like this. So what you wanna do? The motion is gonna is gonna be a scoop like this. You wanna push hard too, kind of like forwards like this. When you push forwards, just practice doing a scoop motion with your other hand. Put your hand like this, and you wanna do is you wanna kind of want to slide like this. Yes. So that's gonna be harder to do in this perspective. So let me show you in a different perspective. So the different perspective. <laughs> hello. Um, a different perspective is gonna be um third person. So, actually, no, let's do first person first. So, yeah, what you want to do is you want to kind of do a scooping motion like this. Let me make sure my computer is recording the screen. Okay, good. So, what you want to do is that you want to kind of scoop like this. It's going to scoop really hard. Make sure your hand is really scooping hard because if you scoop like this softly, you're not going to get anywhere. Practice with one hand like this. Practice scooping with one hand. Once you're done sco practice scooping with one hand, you want to move on to the next hand. With the next hand, you want to put your hands into a fist like this. Get a nice fist like this. You want to kind of just slide. It's good to flick. Like this. It's kind of like on standalone. So on standalone, you do this. But for steam, you want to do this all the time. You just scoop, push back. Now, now in steam, very, very big um, shreds are very vital like this. Like, watch this. I can go pretty fast through this. Now, my normal run is like this. When I do this. That's what it looks like. But yeah. The reason why I want you to skip, guys, is because the more pull you have, the more, like, like ground you'll gain. By the way, quick reminder. Um, well, not really a reminder, but whatever. Um, make sure to... To, um, oh, I forgot what I was going to say, but make sure you're low to the ground so you can get as much ground as possible. But yeah, now next perspective. Next perspective we're going to have, um, here, let's flip that camera. Hey, say hi to the viewers. Shout out to this guy. But yeah, um, now we're going to do, um, let's do third person. So yeah, now you see me in third person, guys. Now, this is going to, now I'm going to show you the run. I'm going to show you the run. Um, in third person, I'm gonna show you how it looks slowly. So this is how it looks. Look at this. <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> also, it's nice. Also, it's really nice to like to like put your f f fist outwards and in. But it's fine if you just wanna do this. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great run for running away from monkeys. I can outrun every lava monkey in the lobby I go. Like actually, I can do that. Also, another thing is that when running, um, make sure to always have this hand to flick, like I said. Because this hand is never going to go vertically. If you want to go vertically, that's not how you run. You want to go go with the wall. I mean, with, with the ground. But something that helps is to practice doing this. Let me go into first person so it's easier for you guys to understand. So yeah, um, as I was saying, try to practice this. This is being parallel to the wall, to the ground. Now it's good to be as low as possible, but this is good because you're you're pulling with it like this. You're pulling with it. You're not you're not pushing against it. Don't do this. You're pushing against it. You don't want to you want to be with the wall. You don't want to go against the wall. 
now another thing no yes um that's my run and i'm gonna explain everything in first person we'll go into quest users so yeah you do this then this hand i'm pretty sure i explained this just just i want to break this down for you guys so you guys understand so do this this but the thing is whenever you run make sure this hand pulls hard don't do just a light little pull you want to do hard like like as hard as you can and, and how to keep doing it is you want to kind of like kind of want to go bit in like i say going all the way down to your rib right here like this <laughs> going all the way to your rib it's really good because you get lots of ground <laughs> like that so yeah that's the run for steam players now we're gonna do um by the way guys if you think i'm using mods i'm not using mods see by the way, man, I'm using the Bark Mod menu, but I'm not, like, using any, like, speed boost or anything. I, so I showed my, I was proving to my viewers. But anyway, um, as I was saying, guys, um, um, another, another way for you standalone players out there, I'll demonstrate in Steam, but I'll show you for you standalone players how to do it. Now, things are going to be hard for standalone players. You won't go as fast as me, because, well, yes, you can't go as fast as me. But the thing is that for you standalone players, it's good to do circle motions like this. Actually, yeah, yeah. Just circle motions like this. And for this, this hand is gonna go like this. So basically, how it goes is that's like this. Just put your hands flat on the ground and do this. Practice around this daily T. I know I'm going a little fast. Don't expect yourself to go this fast. It's just because I'm on steam. But just do this, right? You wanna do? You wanna let yourself glide? You wanna? You wanna let yourself glide? Now, don't push hard on the front because in the front. Well, yes, you do want to push hard in the front. But you won't be able to you won't be able to see your hand so well if you know what I'm saying guys. But yeah, and make sure to put your hand lower to the ground because in standalone it's very vital to do that. But yeah. I'll make I'll make a tutorial just for your weight. Here, let's get my camera mod. This is why this is why I got this thing. Um here, let's, let's. Yeah, so so I was saying. Um here, can you move please? Um I'll tell okay, okay, okay. I was saying, so um yeah, so so I'll make a tutorial just for standalone soon, but for now I'm doing Steam. That that's just the basics of standalone. But I hope you um, Steam players understood, and hopefully you standalone players. I'll make. Don't worry, I'll make a tutorial just for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. And I have to go to my PC and turn it and cut the video. It's just there. Just kind of go here.